Hello, good people, and welcome back to my channel. I am so so excited to welcome you back. Sarah Muni is my name, and I am your sister in change and excellence. If what you're looking for in life is change and excellence, and I am your sister in the journey, I am willing and excited to work with you and get to the place of excellence in the area, whatever area that it is in your life. So today i'm so excited to welcome you back to my channel i know most of you have been asking me where are your videos coach where are your videos many of you have been through my um my, my some of, maybe one of my my coaching programs i am a life coach corporate speaker and trainer in the areas of leadership change management personal development but one of my best selling courses is the one on public speaking master public speaking master the art of public speaking and many of you have been asking me questions like coach how do i uh, what are some of the key things that I need to know when I'm speaking in public, when, when it comes to public speaking? And today I said, you know what, I'm going to dedicate this video to you, just for you. So you're welcome to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And please, uh, uh, please um, at least um, click the, the bell so that you know you can get notifications when I'm having new videos. So let's get on it. What are the key basic things you need to know about public speaking? There's so many other things that we're going to look at maybe in the upcoming videos, but this one I'll dedicate it to these three things. Number one, building the message. The first thing you have to think about when it comes to public speaking is building the message. So when you're invited to speak somewhere or you know you're going to speak somewhere, number one, you need a message. The message is what gives you the right to stand before people. The message is what makes you important. The message is what sets you apart. From the rest of the crowd or the rest of the audience so you must have a message and you see the thing is um about having a message you see when people are listening to you people want to hear two things people first of all want to hear what you know and how much of it you know and that has to do with uh your competence in the area that you're speaking so you need to make sure that you really research you research, 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 prepare, 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 make sure you know what it is that you're speaking about sometimes. And this is, by the way, this is one of the things that gives you confidence when it comes to public speaking that I know my message, I know my stuff. You've got to make sure that you have research. I know there are many ways of presentation. Maybe uh, you're just speaking of the cuff or maybe you know, because the situation cannot allow you to like, you know, carry some notes some other time. Um, you have a whole podium, you can carry some notes here and there, you can be taking your notes and then you go ahead and explain uh, whatever point you need to explain. And then I know, we also have, uh, you know, sometimes you are presenting on PowerPoint, at least that one, you have a lot of stuff that you can put there. So whatever it is, whatever mode of presentation that you'll be using, please, you need to know your stuff. Many people will hide behind the PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> you know, there's something called Dev by PowerPoint. You don't want to do that to people. Yeah, so you need to make sure, even if you are presenting through PowerPoint, a PowerPoint presentation, make sure that you're only putting like an image, a graph, you know, and then you explain it. Yeah, so not just reading word for word. People just get bored and, you know, it's not in, in engaging, it's not interesting. Yeah, but you need to know your message. Uh, I want to recommend you a book by Dale Carnegie called uh, How to Win Friends, How to uh, Speak to People and Influence Friends. Uh, I think through public speaking. Yes. And uh, it's an orange or reddish book. And in that book, uh, Dale Carnegie, well, that's like a, a public speaking Bible, you know. <laughs> so, and um, he says that only a prepared speaker should be confident. So if you're not prepared, you're called to speak and you're not prepared, yes, you have every right to be very scared. Uh, but well, as we go by, maybe in the upcoming videos, I'll be speaking about how do you handle that in public speaking. You've just been called to do a lot of dance or just been called, you are not, you know, you are just even not concentrating, you're just looking elsewhere. What exactly do you do? So please be checking when I post the videos, I'll be speaking about that. But the first thing you need to know when it comes to public speaking is have a message, building the message. And of course, uh, we said prepare, prepare, we do your research if it's the research that you need to do. So that's like the and then as you're doing um, uh, the research, of course, you want to think what is the message, what's the message that I want to communicate. And then, of, of course, the, and, and then there are three things here as we speak about the message. There are three things here. One, you want to make sure you get into the message, you get into the message, yeah. And then uh, getting into the message is just learning and making sure you know what it is you'll be speaking about. Number two, get the message into you. So those are different levels. 
getting into the message and getting the message into you. That means you personalize that message. Have you ever seen a speaker? They are speaking and you can tell the messages in them. The messenger and the message are one. You can see the message in their facial expressions, in their eyes, in their uh, body ex uh, uh, expressions, in their gestures, in their body, in their hands, it's everywhere. You can see the message. You know, people want that, you know, because then the message looks, uh, you know, you're passionate about it, the energy is there, and the message is in you. You believe it. So if you believe it, it must be true. We, we also buy it, we also believe it. That's powerful. And then, of course, number three, you want to get this message to the audience. Get into the message, get the message into you, get the message to the audience. That is why you're there. You're there to send a certain message to the audience. And that is what you do. So it's um the, that's the first part, building the message. And then the other thing you need to know when you're building the message, uh, you also need to know um, who am I telling the message? As you're building the message, those are questions you're asking yourself. Who am I telling the, the message? We say that's the KYC number two. Uh, know your customer. The first one is know your content or know what your message is. Number two, um, uh, know your customer. Who exactly are you speaking to? Because audiences are different. Maybe you're speaking to an audience, a corporate audience, and all that. There's the language of corporate. Yeah. You're speaking to businessmen or entrepreneurs. Is that business entrepreneurship language words, phrases that are used, jokes that are only can only be used in that sector? You're speaking to a group of engineers. You're speaking, maybe you're speaking to high school kids. You can't say the same message you are speaking to some board members somewhere. You're speaking to the school kids. You have to, you know, you need to know the customer or you're speaking to youth or you're speaking to uh, a group of women. Uh, you, you need to know your customer, know your audience so that you'll be using things and examples that are relevant to that audience. Then you're in touch with them. Then they connect with you more. And that's important. Who are you telling the message? And then, of course, why are you telling the message? These are things you're thinking as you're building your message. Who are you telling this message? I mean, um, why are you telling this message? That's the purpose. Okay, why are you telling it? Why is this so important? Why is this so important that you speak about it? Why? The purpose is always important. And the purpose needs to be something we can see. We can see the passion. You believe in something, you know, and you want to make us believe in what you believe. You know, that's part of what you do in public speaking. And then, uh, of course, you are, where are you telling the message? You need to know, are you speaking on TV? You see, there are many places of speaking in public. This is public speaking. <laughs> <laughs> As I, you know, because I know I'm speaking to an audience, you're there, yes. So is it on TV that you're speaking? Is it on your company board meeting? I mean, a uh, boardroom meeting, you're speaking? Is it somewhere just on the, you know, on the open, but you're the one speaking, or it's a family gathering, or <laughs> everywhere, you know, meetings are everywhere, you know? The thing is that each and every one of us is a public speaker. If you have spoken before three people, you're a public speaker, three people is a crowd. So anywhere can be, um, you know, you can get an opportunity to speak before people. So you need to know uh, what exactly, um, where exactly are you speaking? You, you also need to know that it's, it's important to know that so that you know even what mode of uh, presentation do I use. Can I use a PowerPoint here? Can I use a, um, um, maybe some notes? I write here, some little notes here. Or this one, I just need to speak of it, like just like that, yeah. And the way I'm doing here. Yeah, you need to know that. And then, of course, you need to know um, uh, when are you telling the message? When? That's the timing, you know? There's something you just don't bring up at the beginning of a conversation, but as you go along, you know, you can bring it up. You need to know when to say something. You need to know when to drop in a joke. You need to know when to drop in, you know, some humor or ask a question or, um, you know, give some statistics. You need to know when. You don't just bring all of these things at once. There needs to be a flow even when you speak. So timing is also very important. That's about building the message. Number two is about uh, building confidence. We've spoken, and the first thing you need to consider when it comes to pu uh, public speaking is building your message. Two, building the confidence. Let me tell you, it's one thing to know your stuff. It's one thing to know your message. Then you don't have the confidence to tell it. We don't believe you. You look unbelievable, you know? So one of the most attractive things you can give to an audience, you know, is your confidence and the way you convert an audience or people who don't even believe in you is just by showing a little confidence about it so you need to bring in your confidence your a game to show that you know what you're speaking about you know you are not missing your words 
yeah so you are saying something even if you don't have a lot of content but you know there are people who are only buying you because of your confidence because you look like oh whatever he's saying is mm. even if i don't hear much just because of the confidence confidence is key it makes you look believable and it makes us see as the audience it makes us see that you know you're the right person for the opportunity um you are worth it you are worth the opportunity uh you might you are right your confidence is very important and you know by the way <laughs> even animals can sense somebody with confidence well, even dogs you know they sense somebody who is either timid or fearful and they'll chase you down even chicken they'll chase you because they can see your team you don't have confidence confidence is a skill of life it's a life skill that we need to do and in this area of public speaking you need it to do that and <laughs> so it's just, but there are several things you can do to build your confidence and one of them is basically being able to, uh, first of all, uh, look the part. Dress the part, dress the part. If you know you're going to speak before people, let me tell you, we usually say don't judge a book by its cover, but when it comes to public speaking, well, uh, branding and perception, we judge a book by its cover. So before you even open your mouth, you're already looking at your shoes, we are looking at your hair, we are looking at your nails, we are looking at <laughs> your suit, we are looking at what you're wearing, you know, we first of all judge you by your image and we make conclusions and decisions about even before you open your mouth. Yeah? So it's very important you make sure that you look the part, dress the part, look the part before you take the part, you know? So, and that boosts your confidence, you know? And um, it's not just about you dressing well, it's not just about what people will see, but it's about you feeling a certain way. Yeah, it's about you feeling confident, you know. I'm you know, I'm not afraid that maybe my, my lap hair or what is, is looking shaggy or what I know I got me together. I know my outfit is okay. So that gives you a you know a kind of confidence. You're not worried about if your shoe might fall or something. No. So uh, and then of course the other thing is you need to fill your mind with positive affirmations. And telling your mind, you know what, I'm born for this moment, I can do this. Because you see, it's all about conditioning of the mind. Fear comes in and confidence, you, you kill confidence. You know, when you start, um, you know, entertaining the thoughts of, oh my God, I've never done this before. I've never given a vote of thanks. I've never even prayed before people. Or whatever it is that you've been asked today. I've never done it before people. I've never, you know, so you fill your mind with that fear. Let me tell you, <laughs> you project it to the crowd. And it's not very interesting. People will be asking, oh, when will she be done? When will she be seated? So she, she should stop embarrassing herself. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very important that you make sure you are, you are affirming yourself, telling yourself those positive affirmations. I can do this. I can do this. Uh, this is the time. You're just you know, conditioning your mind with the right kind of atmosphere. You need to be able to deliver that which is in you. And then, of course, the other thing we need to build confidence is um, you need to control your breathing, manage your breathing. And by the way, when you're called to speak, make sure you're about, um, you know, as you walk up, you know, and you're feeling a bit tense. Sometimes when you're invited to speak, yeah, you're feeling a bit tense, or when you know you're going to deliver to some people, or you've just been called abruptly. You know you're anxious yeah you're anxious <laughs> what type <laughs> uh water fills your stomach and all of those things good um, yeah stomach knots all of those things. you know when fear gets physical with you huh? so <laughs> you need to make sure you breathe uh, at least breathe three times you know you breathe out three times even right now if you do it you can do it with me Oh, I feel so much better. I feel so much better. Yes, I feel a bit relaxed. Uh, you know, so it's very relaxing. Make sure you breathe like three times, you know, as you're being called. So any kind of anxiety that was building up, you know, you are starting to sweat. You are starting, it starts to fly away and you feel a bit more at ease. And then, you know, you can be able to, you know, speak at least your voice is, is more firm and confident. Yeah, because if you greet people with a frail voice, oh, people know what to expect and people don't want to listen to you again. Like, have you ever, <laughs> you're speaking to people and they're on their phones, they're asleep? You don't want that kind of thing on you, on you, as you when, when you're up there on stage. So, confidence is key. We'll be looking at confidence, how to build confidence in public speaking or much later, one of my other videos. But today, uh, I'm just like, you know, just giving you some, some highlights. The third thing you need, the third and last thing you need is to deliver in style. 
deliver in telemetry is one thing or two things for that matter. Do your message and you have the confidence. The people who know the message, you know the confidence, but we don't remember you are on stage. We don't remember you at all. We only remember one one speaker. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you have seen this before. Maybe um, it's a conference where uh, there were two or three speakers, but you only remember one. And the others, they spoke with a lot of groups that were very confident and everything. They looked at they know what they were saying, but you're not, they were not impactful, they were not memorable. So my question is, what do you want to achieve with your speech? You need to ask yourself that question. What did you want to achieve with your speech? Yeah, because it's very important so that you know, um, did I need to sell? Yes. Do, uh, is it just information I'm passing? Is there an informational speech? Is it, um, you know, a convincing speech? You know that I need people to sell something. Yeah. What kind of speech is it? Do I need to make sales? You know, so that you know, I need to really emphasize on something. Yeah. I need to um, uh, convert people. Is it a conversational speech? I need to convert people from just an audience to a uh, customer. So then you know exactly how to end it. You know how to make your call, up, call for action. You know what to tell people to do. You, 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 you see the thing is, you have given people a lot of information. You must also make sure that you get something from them. As a speaker, I always get something from the audience. I got turn them into subscribers of your channel. Like today, I want to turn you into a subscriber of my channel. So please do that so that you get <laughs> some of my upcoming videos. And then you also need to know what is it you want to achieve with your speech so that you make sure you, you really stay on that line and you hear what it is that you wanted. And you always know, you always know after speaking, you always know if you have achieved what it is that you wanted to achieve with your speech or not. Don't sell yourself short. Don't lose an opportunity. <laughs> so make sure if you wanted to make sales, you wanted to convert, make sure you, ma uh, uh, you make that call and you let people know, oh, you can follow me on social media, you can see. Turn those people, that audience into followers, into subscribers, into customers, into partners, into whatever it is that you want. And make sure you make that call. So that's one of the ways you become impactful. Then also there's that um, delivery style, uh, style, engagement. How well did you engage the crowd? How well did you engage us? You know, you don't just go up there on stage and you're just speaking to yourself. You know, we don't know what you're saying. No, you need to make sure that you keep eye contact, eye contact first of all. Keep eye contact, you know? And we usually say, I bought a look. I bought a look, you know? So, you're, and, and this look is not looking out there. You know, there are people who look, um, you know, over the head. <laughs> but you don't look at people's faces. You, faces. you need to look at people in the eyes and stay on it a little bit, but not too much to, you know, for the person that doesn't feel uncomfortable. But a dot, a look, a dot, a look. You see, that way you're able to connect with people eye to eye. You know, you can be able to tell their attitude, their mood. These people, they look like they're a bit tired. Do I need to tell them to stand and do something, an icebreak or something? You need to make sure you're engaging with the people. When do I bring in a question? You need to make sure you're engaging. That is involving your audience in your speech. So now, they, they become part of your speech, they participate in it, they feel like it's a young, they like to done it together. They feel important because they have contributed also in this speech. It was not just a speech, it was a conversation. Of course, I know there are different types of speeches. I know there are those ones where, I mean, you just can't, people don't even get a chance to ask questions. So it's just you making a presentation there, but just try as much as possible to engage people or at least come to the level of where the people are. One of the things that really works to be more impactful and, and, and it's nice is when you walk to the people and engage them there. Please don't just uh, stay in the high tower of the podium, <laughs> at least sometimes when the situation allows, please walk around if you can. Walk around interact with people well keep your social distance with that we have this zone of COVID but make sure you connect with people where they are don't just stay at the podium up there all the time all the time you're standing in one place you're like a you know podium yourself just planted somewhere no move <laughs> come on utilize the stage so those are the three key things that you need to know when it comes to a public speaking number one I've said building the message Building the confidence, delivering is hard. Thank you so much. Uh, kindly drop your comments. Let me know if you need to know, to know more or uh, if this was helpful to you. What are some of the other things you need to know about public speaking and presentation, mastering the art of public speaking? 
and and of course uh if you want to sub subscribe to one of my programs please let me know of the comment box as well and i hope that you have subscribed see you on the next video thank you